Thawada, Yahweh Bashma Washai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through their men, that being the apostles of Great Millstone, who are worthy of double honours, and Yahweh Bashma Washai, Bahasham Rakakwadash Brakatham, to the 144,000 servants of Yahweh Bashma Washai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. So, I want to say a few words concerning this image that you see here on the screen which is a very vile depiction of what happened unto our people the hebrew israelites beginning with the tribe of judah yahawadah which consists of the so-called negro man and woman primarily over here in north america but scattered throughout the earth now the reason I'm doing this video is because it's very important that you Israelites out there get an understanding of this Bible and how real this Bible is, okay? Especially as it pertains unto our people, right? This is our history book. It says in the book of Romans 8 verse 16 that the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, okay? And the God that it's referring to is referring to the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their descendants, all right? The 12 tribes of Israel in whom we are. Now, the spirit is speaking about the words that's in this book, the Holy Bible, the words of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, who you ignorantly refer to as God and Jesus Christ. Okay, our Lord said in the book of, what's that? John chapter 6, verse 63. Yahweh Shai said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And where do we find the words of our Lord? In the Holy Bible. Okay, and this is why we don't need no DNA test. This is why we don't need to go to know Ancestry.com to discover who we are, okay? Our Lord said in the book of Isaiah 34, verse 16, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Why? Because this is where we're going to find the truth in the Holy Bible, the truth of who we are, all right? And the truth of why we're in the predicament that we're in right now. Why we have to endure what you're seeing here on the screen. Okay. And the reason why our people went through this. Is because we forsook our heavenly father, Yahweh. And his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. See what we're looking at here. This vile depiction is due to the curses that fell upon our people that you read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 15 on down. As a matter of fact, when we go to the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 48, it says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, our main enemy being Esau, Edom, the Edomites, which are the so-called white people, Okay, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord, whose name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, as you're seeing here in the picture, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And what do you see in this picture to the right? You see a depiction of a so-called Negro man and a so-called Negro woman. But in particular, the man, you see a yoke of iron around his neck. Okay? That's what we see. Now, as it pertains to you Edomites, it says in the book of Obadiah, which is one chapter long, which is dedicated to your demise, 
your destruction. And we're living in that time right now where you as a people are being exposed and your kingdom is coming to an end. That's why it says in the book of 2nd Ezra 6 verse 9 that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And before your world comes to an abrupt end, you're going to be exposed. All right. You're going to be revealed for the devils that you are. That's why the Apostle Paul said when he go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, for that day shall not come, referring to the day of our Lord, the day when our Lord, Yahweh Bashmah, shall destroy your kingdom on a physical level by way of thermonuclear fire and the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels. That day shall not come except there come a falling away first, referring to our people, the Israelites, falling away from our heritage and going into captivity, primarily over here in the Americas, underneath you Edomites. And that man of sin, that man being the so-called white man, the man of sin, the man that has transgressed every law in the Holy Bible, including the law on homosexuality, which Esau promotes in his vile kingdom, this vile kingdom. And by the way, what we're seeing here in this depiction all right, this is what took place on the plantations. This is what happened unto our people, where you had the Edomite slave master butt breaking, sodomizing our men, which is against the laws of our Lord, Yahweh Bashmel Shai. You can refer to Leviticus 20 and verse 13. But as I was quoting uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, the Apostle Paul said that the day of our Lord shall not come except that man of sin be revealed. And that's what's happening right now. Okay. Yahweh Bashmah Shai is revealing who you so-called white people actually are as it pertains to the Bible. Okay. And we've worked out that you are the wicked. You are the descendants of Esau, Edom, the Edomites, the borders of wickedness, as it's written in the book of Malachi 1 verse 4. Okay, now it says in the book of Obadiah, like I said, which is one chapter long, which is dedicated to your demise. When you go to the book of Obadiah, verse 10, it says, uh, for thy violence, which what we're looking at here, <laughs> what you're seeing here is what the apostles have been going into, all right, concerning the butt breaking that happened unto our people which is the sexual violence that the Israelite man had to endure during hardcore slavery. Well, again, when you go to Obadiah verse 10, it says, because of thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. So you Hebrew Israelites out there, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, take a good look at this picture and meditate, okay? Meditate and repent. It says in the book of Romans 13, verse 11, it says um, how it is high time to awake our sleep. Why? Because our salvation is nearer than when we believed. And we're going to be delivered from this devil. And also, what I want to say unto you Hebrew Edomites, you soak white people, Take a good look at what you've done unto the Lord's children. It says in the book of Nahum, chapter 1, and verse 3, that the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. And that's who you are, the wicked. The borders of wickedness, Esau, Edom, Malachi 1, verse 4. And guess what? Your spirit goes all the way back to Cain, who slew our forefather Abel, and you've been a fugitive ever since. And again, that's why it says in Nahum 1 verse 3, that our Lord, our God, our power, Yahweh Bashmel Shai, will not at all acquit the wicked. And so as is written in Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity, shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. 
Shalom to the elect. Just gonna say whatever comes to my mind. The first thing I'm gonna say is, you fucking eat a mic, you're in a lot of goddamn trouble. Because you didn't just take any old nation and enslave them and um, put, this, put us under your feet. But you did it to sovereigns, the children of Israel. And Yasha, Yasha Allah, Yah meaning he, Shah meaning prince, which is royal, sovereign. Allah meaning power of God. We are the princes of God. And you enslaved us for a period of more than 400 years. So what in the fuck do you think you're going to get in return? You're going to get cold fucked up. We're going to kick your ass. We're going to break you up. We're going to fuck you up. We're going to work you in the fields. We're going to work your ass every day. And you ain't going to get no fucking bread. You ain't going to have no shift, man. If we decide to make your motherfucking ass work two, three days straight, you gonna do it, bitch! You gonna do it! You motherfuckers! You got that time is on our side, not your side, man. You can do whatever you want, but you better do it fucking quick! Because your time is up, man.